Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. And have you ever wondered what are some common symptoms of a spider bite? Well, today's video, I'm gonna cover some common issues that you might encounter if you've been bitten by a spider. So one thing first off that we really need to talk about is that for the most part, more often than not, when you think you maybe have a spider bite or a bug bite, it's usually actually not a spider bite or a bug bite, where spiders in general aren't really aggressive creatures. For the most part, they're gonna hide out on their own. They're not gonna interfere with humans whatsoever. You know, they're not gonna seek out trying to bite you. So for the most part, like I said, more often than not, if you think that you have a spider bite, you probably actually don't. And in most cases, it could be uh, like a rash or a skin infection, maybe an ingrown hair, a uh, pimple, right? Or even in some extreme cases, even skin cancer. So again, one thing to really keep in mind if that you think you have a spider bite or you have spider issues of them biting you, for the most part, it's usually not the case. And we really recommend, again, reaching out to a medical professional if you find that you feel like you do have a spider bite or issues like that, because like I said, more often than not, it's not actually a bug bite that's going on. Another thing to keep in mind as well is that you, if you are experiencing bug bites, you know, quote unquote, that you think are bug bites, again, a pest control service can't really identify what bugs did this, is it a spider bite, is it from this insect, whatever the case might be, because again, you could have various different reactions. And then as I've said again a couple times already, it's most likely not actually a bug bite that's causing this issue. Like I said, it could be an infection, bed sores, various things like that. So one thing off the bat to keep that in mind. But if you actually do know for a fact that you were bitten by a spider, like you saw it bite you, right? Uh, there are some common sy symptoms that you want to look out for. So one common one is going to be having a headache. Now what happens is, again, few and far between are you going to be bit by a very aggressive, dangerous, poisonous spider. Again, for the most part, most spiders can't even bite people. Their fangs are far too weak to even pierce the skin of humans. And then again, their venom, while deadly or very dangerous to their prey, more often than not, it's not really going to be a big issue for humans. But if you are in one of those extreme cases where you did happen to be bitten by one of the few and far between very dangerous spiders, again, a headache could be an issue because as that venom throw, flows throughout your body, it's going to have more blood rushing to that area to try and help cleanse that out of you, help have your immune system taking care of that, as well as a lot of times what can happen is that venom eventually is going to actually go up into your brain. So again, the blood leaving your brain, and then again, the, the dangerous venom going into your brain can be a couple reasons why you might have a headache. On top of that, another symptom could be having a fever, where again, as your body tries to fight that off, try to, to get rid of that dangerous venom inside your body, it can raise the temperature to try and fight that off, and that could be one side effect as well that you might encounter as a spider bite symptom. On top of that, a more common thing that you would run into if you were bitten by a spider, or again, a lot of other different pests, would be like itch, itchiness and redness around the bite mark. Because again, like I've stated, in spider size, right, or again, insects, they're very small. And so to their prey, their venom, their bites could be very dangerous or again, even deadly. But when you scale it up to the human size, it can just cause more of a mild irritation, redness or itchiness. So if you did, again, if you were bitten by a spider in that case, that's probably a more common symptom you're gonna run into. Again, you might run into a burning sensation as well. That's another common symptom that you might have. And again, if you are having issues like this, be sure to reach out to a medical professional because again, there's not much a pest control service could do for you at this point if you've already received a spider bite. And again, if you were bitten by one and you know for sure like you saw it happen and you are experiencing some of these, again, reach out to a medical professional. Another common spider bite symptom could be nausea. So again, your body is going to do more of a defense mechanism where it might think that you maybe ingested some type of poison or something dangerous for you. So it's going to make you 
regurgitate that right throw up and vomit to try and get rid of that issue. Unfortunately, that probably isn't going to do a whole lot of good if you were bitten by a spider because, again, the venom's already going to be going throughout your body and has really nothing to do with your stomach. But again, that could be another symptom as well. Another issue could be really joint stiffness and joint pain. Again, like I've talked about multiple times, the venom is not going to be as potent for these little spiders that do bite you, or again, these little insects that do happen to bite you. And again, when you scale it down to their prey size, it might have like a paralysis effect. But then when you scale it up to humans, it could just lead to more achy and stiff joints as an issue. Um, again, it, you could develop large blisters around the bite. Again, this is very few and far between, unless you're being bitten by like a black widow or a brown recluse, you know, one of the most dangerous spiders like that. But again, that's very rare. Does that actually happen? But it is another possible spider bite symptom is developing large blisters around the bite. Another issue that you might run into, it's along the lines of having that fever, uh, and again, it's increased sweating. So in some instances when spiders do bite you, the very dangerous kind, uh, that is another possible symptom as your body goes through that process to try and neutralize that venom and increasing your body temperature, creating that fever could lead to increased sweating as well. But again, overall, like I've said multiple times, for the most part, you're not really going to be getting bitten by spiders. So it's not really a common thing that you want to worry about. Uh, again, though, if you are seeing a lot of spiders, more so than them biting you being an issue, the main issue that you want to worry about is the fact that if spiders ha have a large increased activity in your home, more often than not, you probably have other pest issues going on. Because again, spiders only feed off of other insects and other pests. So you might not be seeing a lot of other pest activity around your home, but if you are seeing a lot of spiders, they have to have a food source to survive. So there's obviously some kind of food source for them in your home. So you might have other pest issues that you might not realize going on, kind of behind the scenes, in between walls and cracks and crevices various things like that. So if you are seeing a lot of spider activity, again, we really recommend having your home treated overall for pests to get rid of those spiders. But again, more importantly, the other pest issues that are most likely going on in your home at this point. So not a huge threat, not a huge thing to worry about. Again, again of being bitten by spiders more often than not, and some other skin issue that you're running into. But either way, if you're experiencing any of these symptoms that I've gone through, or you think you might have been bitten by a spider, again, feel free to reach out to a medical professional as they can do a better job of treatment and actually diagnosing what happened. But if you do experience specific pest issues, you are seeing a lot of spiders, most likely you're encountering other pest problems in your home you might not know about. So again, we recommend reaching out to a pest control service to have that treated at that point. So again, hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And if you do want to set up a treatment for spiders or other pests in your home, be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. And then also as a first time customer, you can go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off. Just enter your information there to get $50 off your first service with us. So again, if with any of your pest control issues or needs or questions, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. And then again, like I said, as a first time customer, you can get that great discount at rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off. But thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.